there a technology therefore? And also we can understand that there is a lot more apart from the fact that I said immense amount of nitrogen and phosphorus and potash and all the nutrient elements required for agriculture are in a chelated form. That is they are in a bound form in soil. There is incredible amount over 10 million tons of nitrogen that gets fixed because of lightning. The moment nitrogen gets fixed to nitrous oxide or nitric oxide, it combines with the water to form nitrous acid or nitric acid. But the moment it hits the ground, mother nature just chelates them. It chelates them to form complex minerals so that they don't get washed off to the sea. It's preserving the nitrogen that is coming naturally by chelating it and keeping it there. That number never gets expressed in the soil test report. Yeah? But nature's way of doing it. It's like, a, it's like the lady of the house in a farm, when the harvest comes, she collects all the harvest which comes at a time and carefully stores it to give it to the family every day, little by little. Nature does the very same thing. All the elements that come down because of the lightning, because of erosion, because of... Uh, Various other weathering processes which get exposed in a nano form, nano form are immediately chelated by nature. Reason is she does not want them to flow to the sea. Urea, when we apply and there is a rain, it flows into our aquifers, it flows into our lakes, it flows into the ocean. And that's why we have the nitrogen pollution that happens, the algal blooms that happen. Right? Now, if you look at a rock like this a, a, on any mountainside or any of the uh, hillsides, you will find some uh, a life form that's called lichen. Lichen is a sort of a primitive plant, you could say. I I've never used the word primitive. It's a plant uh, which is a combination of bacteria and fungi. And it is used as food by many animals, including reindeer. In the tundra, for example, this is the only thing that grows, and reindeer actually eats it. Reindeers eat it. Yeah? So, how does this grow on this rock? Rock, if I gave it to my soil test report lab, he will say it has nothing in it because there is nothing available. But how does this plant grow? It grows because nature has a way to break a mineral into soluble nutrients. There are bacteria, there are fungi, there are many, many microbes and insects like and worms like earthworms who have the technology for millions of years on this planet to solubilize the mineral nutrients in the soil. This is what happens in virgin forests. Who's going into our western ghats or the Himalayan virgin forests and pouring urea and NPK and spraying chloroferifos and all that? No, everything is growing. Why is it growing? Because the soil has what our ancestors called sattva. What was that sattva? Because it's full of so nutrient solubilizing microbes. Now, what is this nutrient solubilizing microbe? Nature can break down minerals. So, all these minerals, if you look under an electron microscope, you can actually see how the fungi and the bacteria work together and release the nutrients from these complex minerals. The plant and the microbes act as one community. When we talk about biodiversity above the soil in terms of flora and fauna, we forget the biodiversity under the soil. There is a huge complex ecosystem. Yeah? Uh, Secret Life of Trees, for example, uh, the book uh, you, you could look at and it tells you how plants communicate with each other. Plants send signals to each other. Plants send signals to microbes. So when a plant, for example, wants nitrogen, it sends a signal to the microbe. The nearest microbe around the root hair, an enlarged root hair is what I have shown on the uh, right hand side of drawing. So you see that little elongated thing. That's a root hair. So the microbe closes there 
it quickly comes and it breaks a complex mineral and gives one ion of nitrogen to the plant. And what does the plant do in return? It gives it one molecule of sugar. It's a very beautiful system. The plant cannot take directly the mineral for its nutrient. The microbe cannot directly break that mineral to get sugar for its growth. But the plant can signal the microbe. Microbe will break the mineral and the mineral is given to the plant. Plant returns the favor by giving a molecule of sugar. This is documented science. Our ancients knew about this thousands and thousands of years ago. It's, we are pushing the, the number back to 25,000 years now. But now dating, for example, is showing us uh, 40,000 years ago. So nutrient mineralization is the rule in nature. But when I put one teaspoon of urea into the soil, the microbes disappear completely. Which is why once you have used chemical in your farm, you have no option but to use it again and again and again. Because the microbes have been taken out of the equation.